This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra drop test. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Since I took apart the original S22 Ultra I had for the teardown video, I made sure to get a brand new S22 Ultra that had not been taken apart or been tampered with. I also removed the plastic around the frame of the phone. The Galaxy S22 Ultra comes with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and back. So let's see how it does when it's dropped on concrete. First I'll drop it waist height on its back. And just to clarify, I'm 5 foot 8 inches tall. Wow, didn't expect to see any damage from this height, but there's clearly shattering on the camera glass lens covers. This is my first drop test, so I don't really have anything to compare it with, but I don't think I'm happy with the results of the first drop at this moment. The screen looks fine, and there isn't any damage to it. There's also cracks on the bottom rim of the back glass. Now I'm going to drop it on the bottom of the phone. There's damage on the bottom corner of the frame where it made impact with the concrete. And the S Pen popped out. Some of the shattered glass from the camera lens cover came off as well. Everything else seems to be the same, and the screen has no cracks and is still operational. This time I'll drop it tilted to the side a bit to hopefully get the corner of the phone to hit the ground. Everything seems to be the same for the most part and looks to have hit the same corner. The screen is still working fine and no cracks on the glass. I'll drop it from the side now. There are a lot of cracks on the glass on the side of the screen, which looks to have hit the ground first. It's possible if the glass wasn't curved on the sides, it may have survived the side drop. The screen seems to be working fine, even with the cracks and shattered glass. The back remains the same. On this fifth drop, I'll drop it flat on the screen. There looks to be a few more cracks on the top left portion of the screen. The back looks fine. And the screen is still working. The fingerprint sensor is working as well. For drop number 6, I'll drop it head height on its back. There are some more cracks on the back corners. The screen and fingerprint sensor are still working fine. On drop number 7, I'll drop a head height on the bottom of the phone.
There's a crack running down from the top corner to the bottom corner. The S Pen has also popped out again. There's some more damage to the bottom frame of the phone on the opposite corner. The screen is still working fine, as well as the fingerprint reader. Drop number 8, I'll drop at head height on its side. The top front corner looks to have taken more damage. Let's look at the rest of the phone. It looks like the screen has finally gotten damaged. There is a yellowish color on the screen and the background is ghosted and barely visible. <laughs> but surprisingly the screen and fingerprint reader are still working even though I can barely see what I'm doing. There's also some bleeding on the top left corner of the screen. A new screen will fix that right up. Well, since the screen is dead for the most part, that's pretty much it for this drop test. Overall, I'd say I'm sort of disappointed. The fact that this phone comes with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and back, I expected no cracks on the first few drops, especially since they're only waist high. Now I'm not sure how the Galaxy S22 or S22 Plus will handle it, since they have a flat design and they're not curved, but after seeing the results of this video, if I'm using a Galaxy S22 Ultra, I'm definitely going to have to get a case. The screen and back handle scratch as well, but as far as drops go, that's another story. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.